rumoured that Marcel wants Mason Greenwood. Could PSG revive their interest in Marcus Rashford? United to add a new coaching staff to their ranks. And Luke Shaw is celebrating 10 years at Manchester United. Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice here to deliver you the latest news regarding Manchester United today. Make sure you guys subscribe, sit back, relax, smash that like button and become a member of Red United TV and let's go. It is rumoured that Marcel wants Mason Greenwood. They had their interest today and it was declared by the guy himself, David Alstein, who earlier on tweeted today, exclusive, Marcel to explore deals to sign Mason Greenwood from Manchester United. Club to club talks at early stage plus finances not yet discussed. Positive dialogue between Olympic Marcel and the 22-year-old Man United forward, thoughts to favour them over options at present. That's coming from the Athletic FC. MUFC MPB then tweeted, Marcel have been in talks to sign Mason Greenwood for several days. Greenwood is very interested in the move. Manchester United are demanding 40 million euros coming from at Santi JFM. The Daily Mail also says, Marcel exploring a deal to sign Mason Greenwood from Manchester United, the forward who spent last season on loan at Getafe has been attracting interest from Lazio and a number of other sides after United named their prize for him at £40 million. But now the league earned team under ex-Brighton boss Roberto De Zerbri has emerged as frontrunners according to The Athletic. And Mason Greenwood attracting a lot of interest from different other clubs. Well, to be fair, Manchester United fans do want Mason Greenwood out so it can only favour them. And Mason Greenwood himself also wants to leave Manchester United. So it's, it's a great thing for both clubs. Mason, good luck. PSG have rejuvenated their interest in bringing Marcus Rashford, especially for the fact that they have lost their talisman, Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid, and now they're needing a star to lead the forward front line. MUFC MPP, make sure you guys follow them on X. PSG will consider a move for Marcus Rashford this summer. The French side could step up their interest if they receive encouragement that Rashford is open to a move. This is coming from Alex Crook from Talk Sports, with Talk Sports site stating that Paris Saint-Germain posed to originate Marcus Rashford's interest as they prepare for a life after Kylian Mbappe. In more depth, the article goes on to say, it's understood that the French giant could step up their interest if they receive an encouragement that Manchester United store is open to a move. PSG have been long time a matter for Rashford and could pursue a move given his uncertain future at Old Trafford. While Manchester United are not actively looking to sell the forward, the Red Devils could be open to a big move offer in order to help raise funds for new signings. Rashford endured a disappointing campaign last time out after scoring just eight goals in all competitions. With Eric Ten Hag set to stay at Old Trafford, it remains to be seen what role he will play in upcoming campaigns. And there's a lot of uncertainty with Marcus Rashford. Everyone is a bit up and down regarding Marcus Rashford. Some people say, you know what? Keep him. He's one of our own. You know, he helped free, free school meals. Get me free Marcus Rashford. And some of us are just thinking, I've had enough of this. Topsy turbulent each season. Is he with his girl or not? You know, you need to be with your girl to have a good season. Some people have had enough and they would like to see Marcus Rashford move on. United to add a new coaching staff to their ranks for next season. Exclusively coming from Fabrizio Romano who he said exclusive Manchester United plan to add go-ahead Eagle manager Rene Hack to new coaching staff for next season. Hack and Ruud van Nistelrooy expected to be new additions to Eric Ten Hag's staff. Club side confident and ready to get a new contract signed for Ten Hag plus new staff. For those who are running, who is Rene Hack? Well, a little bit of background regarding Rene Hack. This is an article from the Volks Ranked. They state... The first thing to know is that Hack and Ten Hag appears to share a mutual admiration for each other. Hack has been likened to the Manchester United boss due to his passion for a style of football which requires every player to be involved in both the attacking and defensive side of the game. Per the Volkskrant, Hack leads Go Ahead Eagle to a very impressive ninth place finish in the 2023-2024 campaign, comfortably with their best campaign in over 15 years. Ten Hag Voteball International points out worked with Hack at FC20 when they were both beginning their coaching journey too. Interestingly, it was Ten Hag 
who was credited with the inspiring the appointment of Hack as 20s under 19 coach in 2005. Ten Hag and Hack have shared a strong bond ever since. Ten Hag even gave his back into Hack when the latter got the FC Utrecht job back in 2020, labeling him as a good coach capable of stabilizing a then sinking ship. So Eric Ten Hag is a fan. He's recommended him especially for a job at FC Utrecht. So this kind of collaborative is going to be good. As you can see, it's going to work because it has worked before. And with the likes of these two coming in, what does it mean for the future of Van der Groh, Steve McLaren, and also Benny McCarthy? M Benny McCarthy's future is up in the air, which his contract is expired or it has expired. And whether Manchester United will renew, we will get to see and see what happens. But what does it mean for these three coaches? Luke Shaw is celebrating 10 years at Old Trafford many many years of Luke Shaw celebrating his time at Old Trafford it's been a whirlwind for Luke Shaw in his last 10 years because there's been ups and downs surrounding many injuries but we'd like to congratulate Luke Shaw for his 10th year anniversary at Old Trafford and hopefully this time around in the next up and coming season it is injury free there you have it guys for those who are watching you guys let me know regarding Marcel wanting Mason Greenwood because we need to make funds and I'll be honest with you guys we should be letting Mason Greenwood go so we can free up some funds and add to the next season's transfer budget because we've all heard that. And it's not looking good, brav, this season for this transfer budget. And with PSG wanting Marcus Rashford, Rashford, my friend, you know what? Yeah, I love you like my brother. But guys, I'll be very honest with you. It's, I think it's about time, man. You know, I should cash in on Marcus Rashford. Giving him another season, you know, it's been ups and downs. There's times where he scored 10 goals, 14 goals, 17 goals, 26 goals. Depending on whoever he's with, especially if he's with his girlfriend, which affects his performance, it's clear to say. And as well, there's been a lot of distractions with Mark Strashford. I think it's about time we let him go and let, let him go to PSG. And I know PSG will probably offer a handsome fee for make Marcus Rashford. So I hope that, you know, Manchester United let him go. And Marcus Rashford, he looks like he needs a new challenge. Let's be real. This season has been very strange. So Rashford, I wish you the best of luck. And PSG, go ahead. Replace him as your next Kylian Mbappe. We need the money. And Man United adding a new coaching starts to their ranks. Hack, I welcome it, especially with Ruud van Nistelrooy joining. It's going to be a good thing, you know. So I hope this works out. Ten Hag has worked with him before. He knows him really well. He's obsessed with the attacking and defensive style. So I just hope that Manchester United, because it was needed to add additional people to their ranks of coaching because the coaching needs to be improved. And I expect more. And Luke Shaw, my friend, ups and down, Toby Turbulence, always injured. Luke on shore, Luke Skywalker, whatever you want to call him. Bruv, Luke Hamburger, you know what I'm saying. Bruv, this time, let me wish you a happy 10th year. But I'll be honest with you, Luke Shaw hasn't been playing before us for 10 years straight. Majority of the times has spent being injured on the sideline. But again, it's just to leave positive news. I hope Luke Shaw this season around if we're not sending him because we definitely need a new left back for next season. He comes up next season and be injury free. That's all I want to see. A Luke Shaw playing 40 games this season and just avoid major injuries. I understand there'll be minor injuries because it's Luke Shaw. There you have it, guys. This has been your latest Manchester United news. You guys let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms. Join us on Sunday for the England Watch Along against, the, I think it's the flag here at 4.45 UK time. Till next time, peace.